Almost clear, so you just gotta come up a little bit more. Lock gates at the South Mills Lock in the Dismal Swamp Canal in South Mills, North Carolina, are receiving some much needed TLC. Crews are temporarily removing the nearly 25 ton gates so they can be thoroughly inspected and repaired. We'll do a complete rehab, sandblast, paint, replace the metal, replace all the wood fenders, just a complete rehab up on the shore, and then put them back in in about 60 to 90 days whenever we're done. Engineers say the work is vital to ensure the gates don't fail. They're steel, so they're corroding, sitting in the water. So we want to keep them rotated every, like I said, 15 to 20 years. Pull those babies out, make sure the steel isn't corroding, whatever it is, replace. And we don't want that deteriorated steel to fail. The work is taking place during the Dismal Swamp Canal's slow period, so most boaters using the waterway won't be affected. Boaters who are coming through the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway will still have the option to use the Albemarle and Chesapeake Canal. The goal, according to Scussell, is to have the Dismal Swamp Canal back up and running before boaters who travel south for the winter begin going back north during the spring. For Core News, Patrick Bloodgood, South Mills, North Carolina.